for the Delta variant of COVID-19 is causing many people to be anxious and uncertain about the future. The mental health strain of the back and forth can impact all of us. And Five on Your Side's Justina Cornell is live in studio with advice from an expert on how you can cope with these feelings. Justina. Yeah, Mike. So when in March of 2020, when that hit, anger, hopelessness, frustration came up. Then the vaccine came out offering some hope. By now, many of us thought we'd be in a better position, yet that's not the case. And these previous emotions are starting to creep back in once again. It can easily feel like things are spiraling out of control. New COVID-19 information can cause old emotions to spill over. And evoke a lot of the anxiety and distress and despair that many of us experienced that we thought were, was behind us that now we could be facing to some extent again. For more than a year, we've carried heavy emotions, changes, tragedies and downfalls weighing on us. Many are just exhausted. It's kind of like when you're on the 20th mile of the marathon and you've already had a lot behind you, but you still have a long way to go. But there's we don't know how much longer this, this marathon is going to last. And so that sense of exhaustion could also be compounding the anxiety and distress that a lot of us are already experiencing. At times, it's hard to see the light. That's where these WashU doctors come in to shine light on some strategies to cope. So one of the best ways to cope with that is to direct our attention to things that are within our control. If that's like getting things done on a to-do list and making your to-do list longer so it actually is doable, but you actually feel like you did something, I think it can be helpful that way too. The world around us can seem out of control, but what we can manage is how we face every day moving forward. And in that journey, know there are resources to support you, tools to guide you, to help you find pockets of sunshine everywhere you go. You're allowed to ask for help because it's just like any other thing you're asking for help for, and it's not a weakness, it's a strength. Now, other tools to help, journaling, going for a walk, or meditating. Now, if you need further assistance, it's okay to ask for professional help, too. Now, if you need mental health support, you can call the Behavioral Health Response Crisis Hotline at 314-469-6644. A man wounded in an overnight shooting in Granite City has...